Hey guys, Scott here. It is the 20th of July. That makes it Saturday and we are in Managua today. So if you watch yesterday's video, you have enough, you know why we're here and what's going on. If you haven't watched that, it'll make things a lot more clear and I don't have to repeat it. All right. So we got up this, so I got up this morning. My plan was to get up and film. So I did that. I got up uh, probably about seven, got out and started walking. I love doing this in Managua. It is so much fun. However, if we always stay at the double tree, I have to film out from the double tree and it's in a part of town that makes it a little bit tough. So I can't do that all the time without it being a little bit of a problem. We had meant to start, meant. We wanted to stay at the Princessa, the Hilton Princessa. They were sold out. So that's why we're at the Double Tree on this particular, although it worked out fine. Like nothing we, it's because the things didn't, have, we missed everything yesterday, so it didn't matter where we were. So it was better we were at the Double Tree because it's a few dollars cheaper and we like it a little bit more. But in the future, sometime when we're at the Princessa, I'll do more filming from there. But both of those locations I've filmed from, so they're not great starting points because I've, I've been in both of them a bit. So this morning I got out and I decided to start. I thought I was going to come up with all these cool connecting roads. It turns out I couldn't, so that was a mistake. But I tried going out and filming the back roads of Via Fontana Sur. Well, it turns out the back roads don't connect anything, so it's just like a little side road. But it's interesting anyway and I went off on the side road I ended up having this woman come out and be like hey you're what are you doing filming and I'm like well you know I'm showing the neighborhood I'm, I'm a YouTuber then it turned out she had a hostel she invited me in and they gave me a tour of the hostel which is the Cuban dance studio basically Cuban dance garden hostel ends up it's this beautiful place with amazing views and all this stuff and so we had a really nice time I ended up spending about an hour and a half there so all my filming time this morning was spent hanging out with the owner of this hostel uh, and her daughter and getting to know this place and we got a lot of this her backstory and talked about my show and I'm gonna come in we're gonna do a show there sometime in the future it should be really cool and uh, it's all very neat right so that was very it ended up being very fortuitous and it's this beautiful hostel that I think might actually, we love the double tree, but it may work out better for us at least to go stay when we want to be in Via Fontana Sur at this hostel because the rooms start at just $19. Now, they're a little bit smaller, although the double tree is not big, but we can get two rooms and, you know, even if we don't get a discount, I think she said the rooms start at $16, but let's just say they're $20. We take two of them, that's $40 a night. My wife and I get a room. The kids get their own room. Now we have two entire rooms for $40 instead of one room with all the fees and stuff is more like $120. We're basically at a third the price, but with two rooms instead of one. So even though the rooms are pretty small, but they are air conditioned. I was in one and, and I showed it on the video. If you haven't seen it, go check out my other show, Scott Allen Miller Vlog, where I show Nicaragua and life in Managua and all that. And uh, so I think for, it would save us a ton of money and if we don't have the kids with us or, you know, you'll be even cheaper. Uh, but even if we have the whole family and we need to have multiple rooms, it's a big cost savings. But it's not just that. They have a beautiful balcony with great views we can just hang out on. They have a really nice pool. No, it's not as big as the pool at the, at the Double Tree, but it's a big pool with like no other people. So that is kind of actually a bonus rather than a negative. The view is definitely better. Uh, it does have a little bar and restaurant. I don't know if that matters, but we don't eat at the Double Tree either. So this we're more likely to eat at than there. Uh, so that's a, a very small positive. We don't get our Double Tree points. That's a negative. Uh, but the whole property is gated. So you want to come in and out. There's a security door that opens. So and there's round the clock, you know, people. So like if we have the kids there, they could have the run of the place and feel, I think, a lot more secure and comfortable than being at like the Double Tree or the Princessa because it's not just open and people can't just come and go and it's not hundreds of people staying there. It's only like nine rooms. And so that may actually work out really well when we want to stay on the south side of the city, that it could be much cheaper, a place that we know, like we know the owners. I can just WhatsApp them and be like, hey, do you have a room? Um, like that's really interesting. So uh, we're going to definitely try that out sometime soon. And they invited us. They're like, come stay. And like, we're going to do a whole thing. We're going to put on a dance show for you guys. Um, so, so that could be really cool. So we're hoping uh, to do that sometime in the near future uh, and maybe combine that with doing a longer stay. I mentioned this yesterday. We want to do a longer stay with the kids in Managua because they just don't get enough time to go explore restaurants and explore different activities in town. We've done a number of times going to Escape where we do bowling and laser tag and obviously that stuff's fantastic. Um, we've been to arcades, which is 
kind of fun, but my kids don't really like video arcades. They like the classic ones like we used to have in Texas, but like modern ones, the games just aren't very fun. They like going shopping, but there's limits to how much of that they want to do. But we could go shopping in a few different places potentially and maybe get a little bit more out of that. Um, but mostly what they want to do is eat three meals a day in completely different restaurants and like explore food options and see different parts of the city. They like sitting in cafes. They like doing like, they like seeing cities just like me. They like people watching and all that stuff. So having time to leisurely do that makes them and me quite happy. And then when they're not doing that, we can just drop them at the hotel and they can just have their devices and do their normal stuff just as if they're home comfortably in a place with, with fast Wi-Fi that they know how to get on and there's people to watch them. And so we can either hang out in the hotel or leave them and go do other things. And, and I think that'll work out great. So our plan is to do that sometime soon. So if we can stay at uh, uh, at the at the Cuban Dance Garden, then that means we can afford to stay for most of a week for the same price as one night at the Double Tree. That's a pretty big win. Um, so we'll definitely give that a try. Um, uh, so I got back on the late side for my filming. This ended up using a lot of time, uh, so I didn't get to film very much. But I raced back, and they were all getting ready. We changed plans a little bit, uh, and so we. Um, Liesel and I went down and got coffee uh, for Dominica and I, and because that takes it, that's one thing I don't like about the double, double tree how hard it is to get coffee. They don't have a coffee station like other Hilton properties, it's very strange. Um, and then uh, we all showered and got dressed and packed up, left the hotel, and we headed out to the Barrio Cafe, which is nearby for breakfast. They're always amazing, they do great, but they were out of salmon, so there's some things we wanted to get that we couldn't. Uh, and then um, after a nice long leisurely breakfast, we headed to the Gallerias where Dominica wanted to do some shopping. So we went to the Gallerias, went to Miniso, which is the store where we buy like little funky things. So that is where, let's turn the camera a little bit. Sorry for the jarring thing. This little guy is one of the plushies you can get from Miniso. Uh, and I just got on a recent live stream, someone's like, wait, is your entire office pink? And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. So I got this new pink coffee mug to go with my office setup because literally my keyboard, my mouse, my mouse pad that's huge on my desk, it's all pink from Miniso. And so this is also from Miniso. And uh, and then I've got a new pink hat that Liesl and I have matching Miniso Axolotl hats uh, that I will wear on the show sometime soon. Anyway, so, I, so that kind of stuff, we went to Miniso, and the girls had money to spend from birthday money that they had saved up. So they were, went on a shopping spree and got a bunch of things that they wanted. Uh, and if you haven't been, Miniso is one of these um, like little Chinese stores that have really high quality, really good prices. It's basically like a five below, but all Chinese imported goods. They have a lot of brand stuff. It's impressive what a good job they do. So we're always shopping at Miniso and a couple other places like that. Uh, so we did that. And then once we were done there, Dominica went off to do like clothes shopping and like, you know, things that take time. Um, and the girls and I are like, okay, we don't want to do that, but we had a plan. So she did that and we went out to get coffee. Now, there's four quite decent coffee places in the Gallerias. There is Casa del Cafe, which is the national chain. Uh, they're quite good. There's uh, Del Finca, which uh, we've had good, good coffee there. Um, there is uh, Los Flores, which is pretty pricey, but high quality. And there is uh, Molino. Now, unfortunately, for the type of coffee drinks that my kids like, they don't like any of those four. So even though there's four really good places, they don't work out very well, but it's Managua. There's always something nearby. So I'd done some research and found a cafe that was not very far away, about a kilometer away, 1.2 kilometers away, called Limoncello in the Plaza Centro America. So once Dominica went off to do shopping, we headed out, jumped in the car, and just drove down to Central America and found Limoncello. Now, Limoncello was fantastic because it's right on one of these giant rotundas in the city, Yet when you pull into it, it's like pulling into a rural, a rural parking lot somewhere in the American South with like big, like like live oaks out over old fashioned buildings with with cool old. It's like it's like an old fashioned American South setup, except the places are like fancy, like in a you know a lot of America. There's places like this, right? They try to maintain some of the old Southern charm, but they're newer businesses. There was a jazz club with cool outdoor spaces there. I hope it's still open. It was closed while we were there, but of course it was early in the day. Um, there was copycats, like a copy store, but there's cats everywhere. There was the 
De Luna Spa there next door. Um, we went into Limoncello. They had beautiful outdoor spaces, but they had cool indoor. Everything's themed like lemons. It's so cute. Uh, and, and we just had a really nice time hanging out there at that cafe. So we stayed there for an hour or two while Dominica was shopping. And then when she was done, we just hopped in the car and we were there in like three minutes. So fast, just straight shot. And we have to turn or anything because they're on the same road and we're facing the right direction. Uh, so it was very easy. We picked her up in the parking lot, threw everything in the car, and then um, pretty much decided that it was already so late that we pretty much had no options but needed to get going. Now, we did have to do our uh, regular shopping at Price Mart. We couldn't skip that. So we ran to Price Mart, which is right up the street. That always takes a while. We had to do a lot of stuff. Now, last night, one of our places out on the beach took a lightning strike. So while we were out shopping, we found out that things everywhere were all burned out and we had to replace them. That was not fun. So we had to go buy um, new... I can't remember what, a lot of electronics, uh, and we had to buy new battery, like UPS units and surge protectors and a bunch of that kind of stuff. So we did that. Uh, we found a new office chair for me, which I'm very excited about because, one, my office chair is old and the pneumatics are giving out. So when I'm sitting here, sometimes I start going down. That is driving me crazy. It's really impacting my life. So I got a new office chair, but the bigger deal is we found one that is all mesh. It is warm here, right? So it's just like I'm, I'm always in warm conditions. In my old office chair, which I'm fine with, it's a Radio Shack gamer chair. It's nice, I'm happy with it, but it's all vinyl. That makes you sweat. There's no way for it to breathe. It's terrible. The new one is all mesh, even the seat. I have wanted a mesh seat for so long. I'm mean, way before we moved to Nicaragua. I've never been able to get one. Now, finally, I have one. I am so excited. It's still waiting to be put together as I'm making this. But we own it. I had to put it on the roof rack to drive it back. Uh, we completely filled the car with stuff. We got a lot of food and other things at uh, at Price Mart, but it was a it was a good shopping trip. Um, and I needed to get some like cable management stuff, like just extension cables and and surge protectors and stuff to make the office a little bit better. Uh, but overall, I think it worked out uh, as a really good trip. And uh, I'm very excited about the new office chair. So that, we got the car loaded up. It was completely packed, so Marcella couldn't come back with us. So she decided to stay behind and hang out in Managua for a little bit, uh, for a few days. And uh, uh, then we got on the road and drove back. We did uh, not have any problems on the drive back. We went a little bit on the slow side uh, because of um, just just having stuff on the roof rack and whatever. Luckily did not run into any rain. That would have been bad. Uh, and um, I mean, that was kind of it. That was our day. We were exhausted by the time we got home. Even though we got home on the relatively early side, it just wasn't, uh, uh, it, we were just exhausted. Um, so, so that was pretty much our day. We got in and just chilled for the evening. I tried to get a little bit of work done. It was uploading things from the cameras and, and uh, trying to get ready so I could edit my videos because being away for any amount of time always creates a little bit of, of extra work. But uh, so that was our long day in uh, Managua, but uh, lots of good shopping, uh, good food. Kids are happy. Uh, it was success. I talked to them afterwards. Like, yeah, we're glad we went to Managua. So that, that, was, um, that was good. And they're looking forward to doing a longer trip. So see you guys tomorrow.